Hi everybody, this is Tracy Stutter for Discovery Tech, and I want to thank all those people who provided comments from last week's video about the audio. I um, made a couple fixes and I think it's working now. So if you still can't hear me, let me know. This week on the site I have a new wide angle. This one's going to be focusing on nanotechnology and cancer. We're going to be looking at all the different ways that scientists are developing nanotechnology in order to find and destroy cancer cells without harming healthy cells. So here's what I have on deck for you. On Monday we have a news story about how sugar-coated nanoparticles first illuminate and then destroy hidden cancer tumors. On Tuesday we have a couple puzzles from Lauren Efron showing nanoparticles in action. We also have a couple video interviews with Andrew Maynard. He's the chief science advisor for the project on emerging nanotechnologies. Jorge Ribas asks him two questions. What are the perils of nanotechnology and what are the promises? Then I have an IM interview with Jeffrey Molson. He and his team have developed nanoworms that work together in teams to seek out and destroy cancerous cells. From nanorobots to gene therapy, we'll be looking at the top 10 ways that nanotechnology can battle cancer. Then we have an opinion piece from a scientist who's working in the area of nanotechnology and cancer. And she warns us that not all nanotechnologies are the same and that different tests can produce different results and scientists should proceed with caution. So we also have a new feature on the Discovery News website it's called audio messaging and you can call a phone number, leave a message about any kind of science topic you are interested in, a question you have, you can give me some feedback about the nanotech versus cancer piece or you can tell us about some scientific thing that you've observed from your own backyard. Whatever. Here's the phone number. Okay, so that's it for this week on Discovery Tech. I hope you visit the website, and I'll talk to you next week.